or $51,000 a year. 51K is what she's using. She's, she's, Welcome back to the channel. My name's James Hayes. This is Intentionally Broke. And on today's episode of Why Would You Put That On A Credit Card? We have another princess. We are going to have a look at a woman who is self-inflicted herself into almost bankruptcy. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and smash the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Meet Princess Daniela. I'm currently working at a car dealership. Since I've graduated, I've had about 20 jobs. Since she's graduated, she's had 20 jobs. I've probably had 20 jobs in my entire life. So she's a receptionist. She's She's probably not earning too much money. I believe I've earned my stripes and, you know, in the industry that I've been in. And I don't like people telling me what to do. I'd rather tell them. If you've earned your stripes in the industry, why have you had 20 jobs? If you're that good, you'll probably stay with the same job and become the boss, right? It's all about me, me, me. At 23 years old, Daniela still lives at home and acts like an overgrown teenager. Oh, here we go. Here we go, another broke 20-something-year-old still living at home. And let me guess, the mum and dad just shower her with gifts, don't charge her rent, and wonder why she is such a fucking brat. Make your bed. I'll do it later. You always say the same thing. Yeah, I'll I do am it later. Honey. She sounds like a toddler. I'll do it later, mum. I pay zero dollars for rent. Ha <laughs> ha! I told you. I told you, how did I know? Oh, that's right. Because usually when it comes to princesses like this, a overdoting mum and dad, they're not too far behind. I'm going to spend $800 a month when I can spend that somewhere else. Uh, here's the wonderful thing about money. And I hear it all the time when people say how much money they've got left after all their bills. She's not paying bills, but... A lot of people I know say, oh, I've got $200 at the end of the week to spend. Um, is that after your savings? No, 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 no. People think it's normal to spend all the money they've got. No wonder why there's statistics out there that uh, like one in four people are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, one person will see that statistic and they'll be like, oh, you know, things are really tough, inflation, blah, blah, blah. But I'll see where are they going wrong with their budget? I spend a lot of money on hair. For her extensions, it'll probably be about $400. $400 for extensions. Just wait six months and grow them out, right? Right? I'm not a chick. I don't get this stuff. But $400 for extensions sounds very high. She always asks me to pay for them and do them for her. Oh, so the sister's got to pay for them. Um, if you've got all this disposable income, why aren't you funding this yourself? She'll give me $100 one month, $100 another month. That's crazy. Her reckless spending makes boyfriend Jesse's head spin. Could you imagine being with someone who is just so incredibly terrible with their money? Oh, I actually signed up for the gym again. On how much was it this time? Got it for $1,800. $1,800, I hope to God that's a year, but seriously, 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 $1,800. Just go for a walk, eat more salad. My gosh. I know what happened to get no money. What are you gonna do? Have you? Oh, yeah, right. Oh my gosh, I would run for the door. For goodness sake. It's a stress on me. Like, at the end of the day, like I'm the one who's with her and her problems now become my problems. No, 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 dude. This is self-inflicted on your behalf as well. There's plenty of strong women out there who aren't using credit cards, who aren't being this bloody useless. So it's his fault if he wants to stay with her. Oh, but maybe he's in love, Jane. Maybe he's in love with her. Maybe she's a good girlfriend. No, she's, she's not. She's absolutely not. She's a selfish, whining toddler. It's a client. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> no shock, no shock, no shock at decline. Her spending habits does put a lot of pressure on the whole family. She's maxing out credit cards. She's applying for more credit cards. She's trying to find all these ways to get money. You want to know an incredible way to get money? Work. You wouldn't believe it. There's such things 
as jobs where you wake up in the morning and you go someplace, you, you work hard and you get money for it. You wouldn't fucking believe it. My debit declined to... It's $677. I don't even spend that in a year on clothing. Daniela aspires to own a salon like her mother does. But when mom gave her a chance to get some experience, was Daniela grateful? No, of course not. Of course not. Most of the work and she was just sitting around and like looking pretty. <laughs> we already discussed this. But she was taking advantage, so I eventually had to let her go. What a shock she was taking advantage of her mum. What a shock! It's not our responsibility to look after her debts. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it's also your responsibility as a parent to manage her expectations in life. Hers. So the constant borrowing gets really gets to me sometimes, and it makes it hard to be around her. Just cut her off. People equate showing love to spending money. That's why we have broke people here on the channel spending money on gifts. Well, why are broke people spending money on gifts? Oh, because it's socially acceptable, James. Not about that. People want to show their love by buying stuff. And when you're broke and when you're using credit cards, what's the point? Would you want to get, I don't know, let's just say a pair of headphones or a surfboard or whatever you're into. Would you like to get that as a gift? from a broke person who used their credit card to get it? Seriously? You're spending a lot of hand and you want to get married. So you change your ways or we're not going to get married. Oh, crack the whip, brother. I brought her here to show her the era of her ways. Yelvaz Oxley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Come with me. You have a pretty spotty work history. Yes, I do. Oh, but she's good at her job. She's earned her stripe scale. Don't you know that? Don't, did you know, what? Let's have a look at what some of the people in your life have to say because they pretty well say it all. When you buy something, you have to make sure you have the money. For it. You wouldn't believe it, would you? You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> if not, don't buy it. Oh, wow. Wow, father. Father's got a bit of wisdom. Yes, he can. I never heard my dad really say anything. Like, he's always quiet. He's always to himself. So it's like... The first time I hear him say something about my financial problems. It's kind of, it's really sad that mum and dad don't talk to you, their children about finances. It's disgusting. What are you teaching your children? Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? What kind of an example are we setting? Uh, Daniela is very self-centered. It's always about her. You're actually trained as an esthetician. Um... Yes. Why do you go have somebody else do your makeup? Oh, because she wants to feel special and important. Uh, let's see what she's got to say, but it's going to be something around those lines. Because I want to feel pampered. Like, I... I... <laughs> You're 23 years old! And you... She needs to wake up to, to life. Maybe in your 50s, after you've got a couple of million dollars in uh, assets, uh, maybe pamper yourself, but when you're 23 and your net worth probably negative $80,000... No, you don't deserve pampering. You deserve to go to work. You don't have a job. What makes you think you're entitled to feeling pampered? I want to have money in the future. Danielle's spending my, like, saved money, hard-earned, and she's spending it carelessly. She's using his savings. This guy is an absolute... His name's Jesse? More like Matt. He's a fucking doormat. <laughs> What do you do for him? I love him. Oh, you entitled brat. It's not unconditional. It is. It is conditional. Uh, he spends money on you. You love him. Uh, where's the trade-off here? You love everybody on condition that they do what you want. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the numbers. And I hope somebody pops a cork. I'm really, really excited to see what the numbers are. Uh, she's going to be in a crap ton of debt. Let's see just how much debt she's got. Let me know in the comments how much debt you think she's got. So I wanted you here to see the numbers because it's important that you all know what she's been doing so you can help her stop, okay? But part of the reason she's in the mess that she's in is because you people keep giving her everything she wants. What is wrong with you people? Uh, it's the way they show love, right? Is that the way they show love? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, but it looks like it's not. I'm doing the wrong thing. So it all stops now. 
Okay, what you have been doing is you have been spending about 39% of your income on your needs. And 257. Oh, that is disgusting. 257% on your wants. My, that's, that's astronomically high. I'm curious, what, what is she spending 39% on a ne what needs? She lives at home. What needs? Percent of your income on your wants. So she's spending two and a half times her current income on crap. I think I have a spending problem. Wanna know where all- You don't say, right? Wanna know where all this wants money is going? This is one month. You spent $254 on beauty. $254 on beauty, okay. We didn't know that she can spend that much. You spent $352 on clothes. Really? You think you can afford to spend $350 a month on clothes? It's insane. See all these cash withdrawals? They add up to $1,500. And it's not just your money you're spending, because other people kick in money for your cell phone and your tanning, your hair. This is what I'm getting at. What, uh, what is she spending 39% on her needs for? What needs? Everyone just gives her everything. Those numbers yeah, were very shocking. shocking. You're earning about $2,100 a month. That works out to be about $29,000 a year gross. Okay, if she was able to earn just under thirty thousand dollars a year and she lived at home and saved twenty thousand dollars a year she'd be able to have a home deposit within three years and then she set herself up for life imagine what she could achieve with five years of hardcore savings like that if everyone's just giving stuff to why is she not taking advantage of that people struggle their whole lives working for the man and she has got the opportunity to change her life and build generational wealth as she decides to get her hair done. Seriously? You would have to make $52,000 a year to live the way you're currently living. And you'd have to make $64,000 a year to live the way you're living and get your debt paid off. If you were paying your own way, and using credit to fill the gap, you'd be going into debt to the tune of over $4,200 every month. That's insane. Now, we got caught out in the last uh, two episodes ago um, with Mario, uh, and it didn't actually show how much debt he had. I got a feeling it's going to be the same here. I don't think we're going to find out how much debt she's got because everyone's just piling on gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Or $51,000 a year. 51k is what she's using she's she's no. so over the next few weeks i'm going to give you a series of challenges to all right so before we get into the rest of the video make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content i would absolutely love to have you part of the community all right so we've got a quick question here um do you think she is going to pass these tests. Is she, how much money she's going to get from Gail? I feel like she's just going to whine and bitch her way through this. What do you think? You don't do the challenges. You don't get the money. You don't have the right attitude. You don't get the money. No bitching, no whining. Okay? So this month, we're going to teach you to get into reality, deal in the real world, and get your head out of the clouds. And we're going to teach you that beauty is only skin deep. It's absolutely true. From my understanding, sunscreen is the only beauty product that is scientifically going to stop you aging. Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to get me your debit card and your credit cards because you're going on a cash diet. Okay. No. So she has credit cards. Why don't we see how much debt she's got? I'm definitely looking to buying a pair of shoes that are about 1000 to 1500 Explain this to me. Why are they charging over $1,000 for a pair of shoes? What do you get besides the name brand? Talk to me. Tell me. I, I'm all ears. And my phone wouldn't work. It said that I needed to pay my bill. And I have to call Jesse and make sure that he fixes it for me. As you guys know, I'm not a fashion person. But if you just look at her, she's probably spent like, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars on that jacket. We know she's spent $400 on her hair. We know she's spent shit tons of money on that coffee. 
she's got the latest iPhone at the time. She's probably got at least a thousand dollars worth of stuff on her. But she doesn't look like she's spent that money. Only her, only she knows. So what's the point of it? First challenge, which is your get real challenge. Okay. You're moving out. Oh, they're getting her to pay her own bills. This is going to be fun. I've never been, I guess you could say, independent by myself with nobody to rely on. You can just see just the way she's talking. She's not happy with this one bit. You could say independent. Is she? No. Nah. It's a great challenge. I was like, wow. It's actually a really awesome uh, thing to do. Get her to pay bills, live by herself, see what independent life's like. Well, one of the biggest problems parents do is they give their their children just a free place to stay. For, for someone to not have bills, their net worth would be astronomical. If you have a look at like a self-made person who has no bills, they don't have a mortgage because they've paid off the mortgage. They don't have an electricity um, bill because they've invested in solar panels. They don't pay gas for their car because their business might pay for it. For someone to be in that position where everything is almost free or paid for or super, super cheap, you, you still can't even, with millions of dollars of a net worth, you still can't have the disposable income uh, ratio as people living at home do. It just sets an unrealistic expectation for the rest of their life. Daniela is used to having others cater her to her every whim, but not anymore. I have mixed emotions about it. I'm happy that I'll be able to be independent, but I don't like the fact that I can't rely on anyone. I don't have dinner ready. She doesn't know how to cook. It's very interesting. People talk about they don't know how to cook. You can get a roast chicken, stick it in the oven for an hour and a half. Uh, with some roast potatoes, done. There's a dinner. Uh, there's packet salads out there. So you can have a packet salad salad and grill some chicken. There you've got a chicken salad. Oh, there's two minute noodles. There you go. There's there's a cheap meal halfway through the week. Uh, steak and chips, you know, oven baked chips. It's not complicated to cook. You don't have to cook filet mignon. You don't have to make a bento box every morning. Like, Fucking hell, how difficult is it to prepare your meals? And sandwiches for lunch. Why can't you make sandwiches? Like, it, it's not that unheard of. Daniela got right down to the business of moving in, but found the apartment was missing a few ingredients. I have no idea what's on the menu tonight. It doesn't look like there's much. <laughs> Lol, we just spoke about that. Anyways, they've given her a two-story townhouse. Was your first property, uh, rental property, a two-story townhouse? And there were some other items that she found downright confounding. <laughs> She's never washed her clothes before, has she? I would have started putting things in here and washing See, it. That's the dryer. So I can always borrow my mom. She can come over you're gonna you're gonna start off your independent challenge by bringing your mum seriously well done well done then down to the nitty gritty of the budget see i think i did it's it like wrong 20 percent of 800 dollars and 13 dollars well during the budget exercise i noticed that she's not worried about the interest that she's paying what's 20 percent of 100 i don't like dealing with math so 20 percent of 100 that's 20 dollars that's insane is it 120? That was again shocking. It sucks. <laughs> but it's something that I have to do in order for me to be responsible. Now it's time to check in to see how well this princess did. You come from hardworking parents. I mean, nobody in your house sits around and twiddles their thumb. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? I'm not sure. I think I just got really comfortable and having things given to me. I think what's happened is mum and dad thought they'd give their child everything they didn't have and it's fucked her up. I didn't give you any expectations for the budget and so you totally screwed it up. <laughs> Let's just go over it quickly, shall we? Okay. Your needs and your wants. You have virtually no needs. I don't see any rent in here. <laughs> she didn't budget for her rent? Hang on. What? Oh, that's right. Because she's not used to having to budget for rent. No savings. Oh, what a shock. She didn't put any savings in the budget. Uh, it sounds like 99.9999% of people in the entire planet 
I got a very good friend who's in his 50s. He watches these videos. You know who you are. Um, and we were having a conversation the other day and I said, have you ever heard of an emergency fund? And he genuinely said, no, I've never heard of an emergency fund. And he said, James, you're the first person to teach me what an emergency fund is. But you think it's perfectly okay to spend $995 a month, 55% of your income on self-indulgence. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. She's not learnt anything. When she told me that I basically failed, I was kind of surprised because I thought that I did it the right way. You, you, nah, nah, you, no one is this stupid. She's just, she's just dumbfounded. She's got the camera in front of her face and she's freaked out. She's learning to live within her means. Look at that, she's learning to make a sandwich. Only got $100 in cash to spend every week. I don't need more than $100 a week. And anything that I spend over that is just, I'm blowing it on things that aren't necessary. $40, please. I didn't think I could do it, but I definitely can. Holy shit, she's doing so well. Actually made me feel a lot better about our future. So let's hear what Daniela has to say. Come in, girl. It feels so good. It feels so good having money in my account for once. And not just a little bit, a lot. You seem to have done a complete about face. What happened? When I started seeing numbers and I'm like, I can't afford this. Okay, so it's when you actually started looking at the reality of the financial situation. Yeah. And what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned this month? Not to be a brat and that not everything revolves around <sighs> There you go, she actually worked out. She, she actually worked out what reality is like. There you go. She's creating her own goals she's trying to achieve now. So I think she's gonna feel more confident. I'm pleased. You know, this is not always my favorite part because I might not give you the full $5,000. Not today. <laughs> so she earns the $5,000, which is incredible. She learns how to budget, which is good. Um, so the moral of the story is basically you can change. If you've got a spending problem, you can change. If you've got a saving problem, you can change. There's so much you can achieve in this life. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to smash the like button. And if you want to see more of the Princess series and my thoughts on it, check out this video on screen now. Check it out.